Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to another weekly fighting roundup. And so, if you are new around here though, and you have subscribed, please do so like if you do need like here. And let's get straight into it. So, of course, going to start off with the boxing. So, Azim will fight Fanyan September 2nd. Betabiev will fight Smith January 13th. Reactpour vs. Opatia. Purse bids were called off, and Reactpour's seemingly kind of going down a different route now. Same with Opatia, is a shame. And I've heard the frustrations from Eddie Hearn about this not happening. And I feel like there is going to be a time where Boxer are going to get maybe possibly less opportunities with purse bids just because they keep kind of pulling their fighters out, which is strange, but it's, it's what they're doing and it is very frustrating. Paul will fight Dennis October 14th. Opatai versus Thompson maybe next. Doubt it now, but that was an option put out there. Matchroom are working with Forged Irish Stout. Wardley versus Adelaide. Purse bids were delayed. Seemingly that one might actually be happening. That's got more of a chance of happening than, well, any of the other ones across promotion. But that seems like it probably will be happening. Ghana will fight Antunes August 18th. Roman Jr. is the backup opponent for Paul versus Danis. Fat. T won via Tiki in round two versus Pascua. Etienne won via Tiki in round three versus Powers. Singh won via majority decision versus Wells. Hardman won via Tiki in round six versus Kayohara. The IBF have ordered Opatia uh, versus Briadis, uh, their rematch. So it seems like that's probably the one that's most likely going to be happening. And I believe, don't think I've read them, I've fought since the last time they fought each other. And it was a good close fight, but I suppose it's it's still a good fight and it's still a big fight so I don't hate it um, Benavidez is set to, uh, set to fight Andrage Shields are signed with the PFL Matchroom won purse bids for Foster versus Hernandez Canelo will fight Charlo September 30th I feel like I've announced that like 10 times but like they've actually really released a fight poster now so I thought I might as well put it in Boston versus McCullough Conway versus Eudofia Viong Levers versus Walker and Price versus Kalkia will fight October 7th. Abdullah is set to fight Leach September 15th. Fulton has moved to featherweight. Crawford is open to fighting Canelo at a £158 catch weight. Lefe Burr will fight Gallagher November 24th. Cordina is set to fight in Monaco. Emilia Nenko has called out Tyson in boxing. I doubt that would happen. I put that in that out of just pure curiosity of that fight if that did actually happen i feel like that would be an amazingly good fight for the history of it but maybe not actually a good fight for the actual ability of it but it would be a, it would be a very entertaining fight i believe bravo will fight madeira august 18th the bbfc have ordered riley versus qualis uh, to fight for the english cruiserweight title september 16th lomachenko is unlikely to fight again this year O'Hara has joined Queensbury. Bellotti is set to fight Fiaz August 21st. Lopez won via TK in round 1 versus Severo. Marquez won via TK in round 2 versus Vitone. Chavez won via unanimous decision versus Torres. Navarro won via unanimous decision versus Fuentes. Howard won via majority decision versus Solomon. Bell won via stoppage in round 5 versus Carcorsia. That seemingly, well, Bell is seemingly going to be a, a good, tough opponent for anybody, and he's building himself very nicely as a fighter now and hopefully there's only more big fights for him now and it was a good stoppage again and it wouldn't surprise me if he gets possibly a title shot within the next couple fights. O'Leary is set to fight Gardner September 23rd. Lizard won via points versus Ooster Weagle. Uh, congratulations to Lizard. Of course we've got the interview on the channel for that now. Scott won via points versus Norman. So congratulations to Scott. Unfortunate for Norman. Um, but got interviews with Norman on this channel Scott over on the Slothbox channel go check that out if you haven't done so already please and thank you uh, Courtney won via points vs Rueg Hatton won via points vs Ansel congrats Hatton same thing got an interview with him great chat um, Fisher won via, uh, won via TK and Rand 7 vs Armstrong to become Southern Area Heavyweight Champion Shizora won via Unamis Decision vs Washington that wasn't really any, any part of an interesting fight Eddie Hearn said it was down to a clash of styles possibly that was the case I feel like they're both past their peak by far and I wouldn't hate if both of them retire and there's seemingly not much left for either of them to do and the way that they're fighting it's not even that entertaining anymore so it's it, it was whatever it wasn't really that it wasn't really at all interesting 
Hergovic won via TK and ran 12 vs McKean. That wasn't that impressive either. Um, McKean never really seemed to get into the fight at all. Hergovic just didn't really seem to turn up to tempo either. He just kind of progressively sobbed through it and didn't enough to get the... It was a half-decent stoppage, but it, like Hergovic just never really... Well, not as recent, really shown much of technical ability or uh, what he was showing back in the amateur days. And I don't know, he, he seems to be out of it a bit. The way he fights, he's just a little bit lazy at times. Like, he's just, like, not really caring a bit. And it's just not really entertaining to see. And I don't know, it wasn't the best of fights. Joshua won via K and round 7 versus Hellenius. So that was a very impressive knockout. It was a very nice knockout. It's one that was definitely necessary. Um, I feel like he could have possibly done it in an earlier round. I feel like Alanius, for possibly from round five or four, was pretty much just asking to be knocked out the way that he was fighting, was just very negative and not really showing much and seemingly just wanting to get himself out of there. He didn't really seem like he could really fight in that level, but it's impressive that Joshua managed to just kind of shut out any kind of real ability. I mean, the only problems I saw was he struggled to get in distance a little bit I mean, it wasn't overly attacking performance either, but it wasn't as it wasn't a terrible performance, and it was like I said, a necessary good knockout and one that could well can only do good things. It's going to boost morale for him, and of course, seems like Wild is next, and hopefully that is the case. And I think there's people are writing off Joshua. I think it's definitely possibilities if he can put Wild on the back foot of possibly finding success he managed to put Hellenius on the back foot quite well and he didn't really do that too much in a fight against Franklin so it seems like we, we are seeing progress in that kind of way and I I think it's still going to be a, a very good close fight between Wilder and Joshua I don't think it's going to be crazily one-sided until uh, well the possibly inevitable KO from what everybody seems or thinks is going to happen um Vargas won via TK around two versus Alvarado. Ruiz Calaba won via TK around two versus Auburn. Rodriguez won via TK around two versus Ayala. Marias won via TK around six versus Callaway. Torres Jr. won via K in round one versus Jake Jr. Delgado won via Namas Sijin versus Valtierra. Navarrete won via Namas Sijin versus Valdez to remain WBO World Super Featherweight Champion. And what a fight that was. That was a very, very good fight. And uh, that a fight which I definitely thought would be a really good fight and it did not disappoint, it was amazing, Navarrete relentless, showed immense amount of heart was quite loose, quite nice in the attacking side of things, he obviously did get caught with some big shots Valdez is incredibly tough so is Navarrete, there was a point where I believe they both had kind of injuries, Valdez with his eye and Navarrete with seemingly his hand or something was up and he was still just going at it like it was so impressive and shows that kind of Mexican heart and that desire and to be fair it was it was a half decent well especially for it was a good technical showing I feel like I underestimated myself how technical this fight would be especially from Navarrete's side but he boxed a good fight obviously he got caught with shots which it was unnecessary at times but he managed to be do enough and stick behind his shots find out what worked and what didn't and be able to find success and do enough to get the win and where do you go from here it's difficult top rank i don't know how best they're gonna what they're gonna do with him next i don't know if it would benefit his career possibly moving away from top rank for the moment just to chase more big fights because i don't know how many more huge fights he's got left in his career but for the moment he's on top of the world doing an amazing job fighting amazing fights and uh, a true legend and definitely cemented himself in that kind of Mexican stature of just legends of the sport and it's great to see. Joshua vs Wilder is set to be next like I mentioned. Cruz vs Parker and Fierro vs Zamaripa will fight September 15th. McCaskill vs Ryan, Williams vs Rolls, Hitchens vs Zapeda will fight September 23rd. Pacheco will fight Cocores November 18th. Rodriguez will fight Edwards December 16th. Angeletti won via Namas Decision versus Marcano. Whitmer won via TK in round one versus Tien Chu. Balancas won via Namas Decision versus Lee. Vasquez won via TK in round six versus Borres. Hart won via TK in round two versus Trosh. Benavides Jr. won via TK in round five versus Jan Janin. Brown won via Namas Decision versus Taylor. Miastri won via TK in round two versus Marshall. Russell won via K in round one versus Cruz. Rodriguez won via Namas Decision versus Lopez to become. IBF World Bantamweight Champion. Uh, another prediction I got right. Another 
decent fight. Uh, Rodriguez, I thought would be comfortable with Pierre to win, and he, he was. And what I got, Navarrete right, Rodriguez right, Joshua White right. right. Um, yeah, McKean wrong. Um, other than that, half decent week for me that wise. Moving on now to the MMA news. Alessandro will fight Strickland September 9th. Zuckerberg versus Musk is seemingly on and it's in Rome. Announced by Elon Musk. Seems like it's going to happen. Huge fight, of course. Hall will invite Stoppy Durant to versus Perez. Magni will fight Gary August 19th. Blades will fight Almeida November 4th. Fremd will invite a decision versus Pickett. Dobson will invite a decision versus Chu Kui. Lucinda will invite submission round 2 versus Vayana. Roundtree won via Kane round one versus Dorkhouse. Swanson won via decision versus Dawoodoo. Luke won via decision versus Dos Anjos. And yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed like, if you didn't like, subscribe if you're new, and thanks for watching.